Okay, it is hotter than Satan's butthole. All right, hey, how you doing? Welcome back. We're going to question our, and by our, I mean mine, unconscious assumptions of how we simplify things, right? So I don't know if you've heard this, but artists tend to exaggerate their ability to draw from memory, which is why you should always use a reference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go find one of the three pillars that I got yesterday, either this one or this one or this one, and I'm going to copy them straight from the get-go, not less analytical this time, and then I'm gonna check my work afterwards and see what I like subconsciously like do. And, <laughs> and how it's bad. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so part of me wants to do this one because it's the one that I actually put in the pyramid, but there's like a weird angle going on there and there's some like pose that I'm gonna have to figure out that I'm not entirely confident that I can do. Um, so we're gonna skip it. I can do this. This is nice. I mean, boobs are nice, thighs are nice, but we're not doing the body yet. So we're just gonna go with face is nice. All right, and there's like, there's some, there's some twist. There's like a, like a, it's not three quarters, but like a, she's moving, looking left, like just to like this much. And that's gonna be really hard for me, probably for me. <laughs> All right, we'll use the same Photoshop file so that I can, uh, have all my cringe in one place <laughs> and uh so we can go back and look at it easier later and let's get to work all right let's just start let's just dive right in all right you give this to me you say hey josh i want you to copy this and i say sure thing internet not a problem and then we'll draw our little boop boops. Not too much. Remember, tiny chin, tiny chin. That was a lesson from last time. Roll the clip. So that's like super tiny. That's a super tiny chin. For those of you who never make videos, whenever you say crap like that, you're sitting in a room by yourself and then you say something ridiculous or you like point to something in the air that's not there. You just kind of get over it eventually. But I always have this moment in like the back of my head where I'm like, I look really ridiculous to anybody else. And you know what? That's okay. That's part of like movies and filmmaking and like preparing for special effects. Don't even get me started about acting with a green screen. Preemptively cut this Loomis bit here. Uh, now this is hidden by hair. Uh, like all of this, this is all, there's an ear in here somewhere. Don't know where it is. Um, oh, there's an ear here. I didn't even notice you. A comment from the other video pointed out ever so correctly the, the top of the eye supposedly lines up with the top of the ear. So like here to here, yeah? Huh? So we can infer that if her eye is above this ear, then that means she must be looking up a little bit because this is like, this ear is lower than this. Oh, sorry, I'm being analytical. It's fine. Don't be analytical, just draw. Just, just draw. Oh, piss, wrong layer, wow. Now, we're back with that garbage crap of the line here with the eyebrows. That's it, the line here with the eyebrows. That makes sense, Josh, perfect. Um, and then we have the line here with the nose. Where's that? Beats me. So then your nose will go here. This connects here, this goes up like this. So then let's go here, eyebrow. Oh, I'm really not comfortable with this, but that's okay. We're learning, we're, we're, we're checking biases. Um, so check the eyes. Little mental note up there. Mental note to self. Check the eyes because I'm pretty sure the eyes are always going to be garbage until I like have some like breakthrough. Another tip from last time is uh, just use liquify. And I think that that's a great note. I think that liquify is amazing, but I have to know what to liquify. And maybe you just liquify and just guess until it turns out okay, but... I don't know. I mean, I guess I could do that. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I made that face. <laughs> Now that I mentioned it, I just said that this was wrong because this and this don't line up. But yet, look at this. This and this doesn't line up. Like, anatomically, this should, this connects, this is your crap here. This is your, where's, this is hard. This is this part. This connects to this, right? But yet here, it doesn't, it doesn't line up. That's a stylistic choice there. Interesting. Interesting. I like how I said I'd turn my brain off and it's refusing to turn off. I like that. I like how this little 
This little gap here lines up with this little gap here, even though his looks a lot better than mine. All the way up. So we're already drawing hair. That was fast. These ruffles are going to give me a headache already. I can already tell this is going to be hard. It just kind of comes in and just kind of kisses the ear. Just a nice little ear kiss with your hair. Like myself. Only mine's like an ear hug. Like just who has ears? Not me. Psh. Okay, now let's uh let's let's get rid of all these construction lines and see what absolute mess we're gonna find under here. Alright, here we go. Construction lines gone in three, two, one, post. You know, I'm sitting here erasing all these lines not in post. And the cool thing is, is that behind the scenes, I can do little like stupid things like that and say, haha, in post. And then when I'm actually editing it in post, I can be like, okay, amazing. I'm actually kind of surprised, to be honest. I do think that this area right here is super wrong. Cause like this here looks way not as lame as this. Like this could cut someone. This is like soft and nice. Not this. We're gonna try to make soft, cute, dainty things. Now, before I start trying to tinker with this for a year and a half. This is the point of the video. This is what we're going to try to do. We're going to trace, as always, our good buddy, Mr. Trace. We're going to trace this. We're going to trace the actual doodad, and then we're going to overlay it on top of our assumptions, and then that can kind of hopefully, hopefully give me a clue of what I need to like mentally correct. Let's use a different color. Let's use red for failure. Just kidding. I have to learn to be nicer to ourselves. I don't know, self-deprecating humor is one thing, but then I feel like that there's a line where it's like self-deprecating humor and like low self-esteem. It's like, there's something to that. <laughs> so let's, let's try to generally, slowly over a long period of time, not be mean to ourselves. That's gonna be hard, but let's try together, you and me. You and me, internet. Okay, it's the moment of truth. All right, we did it. Amazing. Now, cover this up. And, wow. I mean, like, this is... This is encouraging to me in a weird... In a weird way. Because this trace here still has the same vibe and energy as the finished product. Like, as the, as the actual finished illustration. Which just means that all the rendering and the shading, like, that's just built on a solid foundation. So... As stupid as I feel, you know, comparing this to this, it's comforting to know that this is what really matters, right? And if I can get this right, then the rest will fall into place. So it, I don't know, it's it's encouraging to me that the, the crux of it still reads. Okay, so let's see here. And I'm calling it now. It's going to be a million super tiny, frustratingly small changes to like angles and things. Um, I'm hoping that there's big, obvious, huge glaring mistakes, but let's just, let's see what happens. Now, internet, be my eyes. Maybe you can catch things that I don't catch. The first thing that I see from this is if assuming that this line here will go in blue so it's easier to see and we'll do it on a different layer because we're smart now um let's see what is wrong here what did what am i subconsciously doing that is not aligned to the style the first thing i see is that my eyes i draw them too big and too high up everything is too high my nose is too high my eyes are too high my eyebrows are too high. My ear is too high. Everything is too high. Why is that? I don't know, but it's a it's a bias that I have that I've somehow developed along the way that it seems that and we're going to write this down so we don't forget. But my yeah, eyes perfect. Um, here it is. We're going to write it. I, I feel like I'm like in detention, like writing things on a whiteboard or like a chalkboard because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, I will never cheat in class again or whatever, like freaking like Bart Simpson. I put my features too 
high on the face. I put my features too high on the face. There's like science or something about writing things down and remembering them. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go write it down again. But before that, I'm gonna go find the science to make sure I'm not wasting my time. Okay, let's go find this. If you write something by hand, all that complex sensor information increases the chances the knowledge will be stored for later. In short, writing by hand forces your brain to process information in more detail, which helps success with all information. Remember, perfect. Okay, we're gonna go write it down a lot. Here we go. Okay, enough. Okay. Okay, that... All right. I put my features too high on the face. Now let's duplicate this and see how much more work I have to do. You know, smush everything down. Hey, I guess this is a form of liquefying everything. I guess, I guess I'm applying the note. Look at me, Blue, look at me. And now if we hide this. Wow! 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 That actually, hold on, just, just compare, just that one note, that one note that we did, from this to this, if I just don't put them that high up on the face, I get that big of a difference. That's actually crazy. That's actually insane. Wow. Amazing. Okay, well, that's the lesson. That's the entire video. That's good enough for me. I had a bunch of work today, so I couldn't draw very much. So this is all the time I got to do art. But you know what? I learned a valuable lesson today. And I guess, you know, practice smarter, not harder, because I, I didn't get to practice very much. But what I did get to practice, I remembered. So, tomorrow, we'll be back. We'll draw more. Sorry for the shorter video today. Appreciate you guys. Have a good week. See you next time. <laughs>